Here's an expression ax plus ay plus 2x plus 2y. It's got four terms and it has no common factor. But we can still factorize it. If you notice the first two terms have a common factor a and the second two terms have a common factor 2. So what we do is we factorize those pairs of terms in turn. So a is the common factor a times x plus y plus 2 is the common factor for these two. So plus 2 times x plus y. Now we can see that there's a common factor between these two terms. Each of these terms has a factor x plus y. So we take out that common factor. And what's left behind is a plus 2. So we factorize this expression, which has four terms, into these two factors. And we can check to make sure that we have the right factors by expanding out these brackets. So this becomes x times a plus 2 plus y on a plus 2, which is ax. We can say xa, but normally we say ax. We write terms normally in alphabetical order. That's the normal convention. And x by 2, x by plus 2 is plus 2x. Plus y by a is plus ay. Plus y by plus 2 is plus 2y. If we rearrange that, we get back to what we had originally. So we started off with the four term expression. We factorized it and then we expanded those factors just to check and we arrive back at the original expression. Let's look at another example. 3ac minus 3ad plus bc minus bd. So the first two terms of this expression have a common factor of 3a. So this becomes 3a times c minus d. The second two terms have a common factor of plus b. So it's plus b times c minus d. So again we notice that this term and this term have a common factor. c minus d is a common factor to both of them. So we take that out. c minus d times 3a plus b. So those are the factors of that expression. And another example. ab plus 5 plus 5a plus b. The first two terms don't actually have a common factor. And neither do the last two. So what we need to do is we need to rearrange. So if we put a, b and 5a together, then we have plus 5 and plus b. That's no good because these two have a common factor. These two don't. So let's try a different arrangement. So a, b plus b plus 5 plus 5a. We have a common factor here and we have a common factor here. So that's equal to b times a plus 1 plus 5 times 1 plus a. Now we want to see a common factor between this term and that term. So we need to do a little bit of rearranging here. So that's b times a plus 1 plus 5 times, well 1 plus a is the same as a plus 1. So now we can clearly see the common factor here is a plus 1. So that's a plus 1 times b plus 5. So those are the factors of our original expression.
So that's factorizing by grouping. Thanks for watching. Talk to you in the next lesson.